Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina against Brazil. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Angel Di Maria starts with Lionel Messi in the wide midfield positions. And leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson begins in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Casemiro plays alongside Lucas Paqueta in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Neymar. And so the match is underway. Paredes. Messi. Just the challenge that was required. Neymar. Here's Rafinha. So this is it for Argentina. World Cup winners in 1978 and 1980. Oh, he's through and go here, Derek. And it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to Sabre. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Vinicius Jr. And the referee spotted the foul but has played advantage. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Martinez. Martinez. Wasn't the easiest header to control, but still he'll be a bit disappointed. Lucas Paqueta. Here's Rafinha. Neymar.
Well, here's the replay, and it's a simple finish in the end. But where was the defending? That's just not good enough. So back underway following the equaliser. Lucas Paqueta. A foul, but advantage played. They were playing fluent football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. Well, he's had his name taken by the referee. Well, he knew he was going to get booked. It's a poor tackle, really. Alexandro. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. This might have potential. And it's played into the centre. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Opportunity in the wide area. Cutting infield here. Can he put it away? That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. It's Neymar's corner. Casimiro. Oh, it's in to get them the lead in the final. The stuff that dreams are made of. Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play, offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Lo Celso. De Paul. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Great chance to make it a brace, but the keeper had his say. Well, he has to get a second goal soon. He's been brilliant today. Fired over by Messi. Well, still an issue here. What a block! Really closing him down. Rafinha. Can they hit on the break? Hammered in there, and the keeper more than equal to it. It's a short corner. And Neymar. Marquinhos. Casemiro. Can they stop it going in? Well, they can keep possession now. Well, that save just about kicks them in this. But they have to pose... Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. Oh, goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And what an emphatic strike it is from Lionel Messi. Hit with his laces, it's a great goal. So underway again at two all. Number ten, Lionel Messi. And a good challenge to bring that. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Well, that's how to take a free kick, but no goal in the end. Well, he's such a threat from set plays, and you just saw why. He's in behind, and the keeper got there. The delivery from Neymar. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Well, the stats back up what we've seen so far. 
Some good attacking football, chances for both teams and plenty to enjoy. Let's hope for more of the same. Casemiro. Ball with Danilo. Neymar. Casemiro. Opportunity to take the lead. Otamendi getting in the way. Lo Celso. Oh, good vision. He's managed to get in behind. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Underway again, and we're being treated to plenty of goals. 3-2 at the moment. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. He has teammates around him. Can they square the game? Messi. Giovanni Lo Celso. Martinez. And attempting the through ball. And the keeper has denied him. Well, I've got to say, Derek, he was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff. And over comes the corner. Not the best clearance. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. And this confrontation is under... So into the second half, can Brazil battle back after that first 45? He's in control of the situation. Marcos Acuna. The ball with Martinez. And he read it superbly. Brazil moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Very quick thinking there. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Paredes. Rodrigo de Paul. Lionel Messi. Oh, the goalkeeper did well to hang on to that one. Now, was that the denial of a goal scoring opportunity? It falls on the referee to decide.
Well, just a yellow card, and you can see what they think of that decision, Stuart. Well, did he stop a goal-scoring opportunity? I'm with the referee. I'm not sure it was clear-cut. He'll take this on. Just can't get it past the wall. Argentina will get the throw in. Well, that's a completely wasted throw in. On the offensive. A fine reading of the situation. And Neymar. Not a great challenge. Free kick here. And that is goalkeeping of the very highest order. Well, they might be trailing, but hope in the form of a corner. And putting his body on the line. Fred. And a chance to level it. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. In a short corner, let's see. Vinicius. Not quite the accuracy he was looking for. That'll be a goal kick. Well, Argentina haven't had that much of the ball so far, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Yes, and maybe another break brewing here. Romero. Now Romero with it. Molina. It's with Paredes. Giovanni Lo Celso. Marcos Acuna. Paredes. Now Messi. Being egged on by the crowd. Timely intervention. And that's going to roll all the way through. Marquinhos. Now Brazil could be onto something. Giovanni Lo Celso. The ball with Martinez. Oh, the threat is there. Messi! And the keeper there to deal with it. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Oh, could be a chance. Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed. And the dream remains very much alive. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Martinez. Bad pass. and using his strength to shield the ball. And he's broken free! Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Messi. Excellent defending. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. All even, but will it stay that way? save and it remains all even well there you have it he may just have saved his team here so making the substitution now
The delivery from Neymar. Oh, a goal! And how important could that be? Maybe it's a story of one hand on the trophy at this stage of the final. A huge moment. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to the attacker, and the finish is excellent. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Substitution for the hosts. And Neymar! There. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Now how about the short corner? Messi. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. Could be! Oh, what a fantastic save. Well, that's a match-winning save there. Not long left now. So, a personnel change then. He's driven in the corner. High-quality goalkeeping, and still they lead. Well, that's a great save. That could be the match-winning stop there. Well, not cleared away completely. And now having a go! Oh, a goal to level us up in the closing stages! Who's going to claim the trophy? It's an open question here. Well, we won't get tired of seeing this, will we? Because that struck so sweetly. He really does surprise everybody here, not least the keeper. What a good finish that is. Goal. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Lovely pass from Correa. Messi! Oh, they've done it! they forged ahead and it might be the goal that gives them victory. the goal again and it's a really nice ball to put him through the vision to set up the chance is outstanding and there's certainly no doubt about the finish he really hits it with power and accuracy nothing the keeper can do about that say I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4 they get forward but time is very much against them here and there goes the final whistle for the third time in history Argentina have won the World Cup and I have to say Derek they've been the best team in the tournament there's no doubt about that Argentina, world champions! They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart.
Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.